Okay, Bob, what I have found is that there are masses of lizard worm eggs in this smear. Okay. So we we're pretty close to the mark in our introductory comments. Um, in that little bit that is just under the under the cover slip, under the under the square, there is mm -hmm. about 30 eggs. Okay. Right. So you can imagine in one dropping, there's going to be a couple of hundred eggs, and you can imagine how quickly the worm egg pop, the worms uh, are going to build up in the other finch in this bird's mate mm -hmm. and start affecting it. The worms live under the coiling layer of the the uh, the gizzard. So the if you ever do a necropsy on a on a on a finch or on a chook, you'll find that the gizzard is a, a thick muscular organ, and it's got a very very thick leathery lining on the inside of it. And the worm egg, the actual worms, live on the underside or uh, between that and the fleshy part of the gizzard, and they look like little tiny strands of muscle microscopic, almost microscopic in a finch, but they're there. Okay. Um, the treatment, my favourite treatment for this particular infection is moxidectin and we'll be giving it, um, probably, I used to do it once a month, but I think we'll go to once a fortnight um, and I'll work out how to dose that for you for this size finch. Uh, we'll have a look at your finch in a moment, but I just thought I'd give you this part of the, the, the diagnosis so far. Um, so we'll be doing moxidectin once a, once a fortnight, once a month, uh, for at least four months. In the meantime, we'll need to be breaking the, uh, doing whatever we can to break the life cycle in terms of um, treating up a bird, hygiene, elbow grease, and then uh, disinfection. So elbow grease and disinfection are key, key components of getting this under control quickly because Wherever a single poop has been passed, there is probably in the order of 200, maybe 500 worm eggs at mm -hmm. the moment. So all old poops have to be removed from perches, from branches, from anywhere in the in the cage. I gather they're in a cage rather than a neighbour at the moment. So that, they're kept as a single pair in a cage. Yes. Right. So that makes, should make your job a lot easier in the short term. Um, if you've been going from one cage to another without washing your hands, just usual practice, um, it's quite likely that you could have spread the, the gizzard worms to other um, cages at the same time. So um, I would just be doing this bird, this group of birds for a, initially and seeing if we can keep this bird alive and see if we can keep the, that the moxidectin is not a acting adversely with them and so forth. Um, but anyway, that's, I used to use ivermectin, but I think uh, moxidectin is more reliable. Okay. Um, so that is that part. I did not find any megabacteria. And can you tell me whether they've got any sand grit? Yes. I do have sand grit, so yeah. we, we should not have a sand grit deficiency. Okay, the next aspect of management and, and treatment for this part of the diagnosis, the, the gizzard worms, is that this little birdie at the moment has a very diseased gizzard and it's um, apparently quite wasted and thin. I haven't physically examined it yet but you've told me that. Um, so we want to get food into, into it that has already been ground into a paste as much as possible. So I would be looking at giving it um, pinch, uh, better farm pinch crumbles because um, I have those here. I'd be looking at giving it high potency, um, Harrison's high potency ultra fine um, uh, pellets or the mash. I'd be looking at possibly giving it a little bit of insectivore mix, but food that has been already um, ground into, a, into a, a fine thing. Another one that you could give is some grain of all uh, mix. So that, um, and if you haven't got any of those things and in an emergency, I would be giving some crumb biscuits, maybe some, yes, some, some crumb cake, some egg and, egg and, egg and, egg and biscuit, some Madeira cake. Um, I would be giving, um, fresh green seeds that are still at the milky stage mm -hmm. that have been um, that are at, at the soft and maybe um, a tiny little bit of a couple of corn fresh corn kernels fresh sweet corn kernels that have been squashed so that you can pick out the insides of them but it, they're the sorts of treats that I would be giving this finch at this present present moment um, insects um, would come probably down to termite termites and those sorts of things. If it wants to eat me termites or aphids would be okay. If How about fly larvae? 
fly larvae, um, they'll need to be squashed and so forth because again this bird's not able to grind them up into bits and pieces so okay. um, where, where the fly larvae have been um, been uh, you know fully washed etc and then then given a bit of a squash and it's eating eating a freshly squashed one so its digestive juices and the the contents of the fly larvae can be absorbed yes but not, not, none of the big ones okay alrighty